one of our beta testers was the Institute for Systems Biology. The ISB uh, uses genomic analysis to decipher how genes function and to find relationships between the genes that signal the potential for new cancer drugs. They wrote an App Engine app that connected to Compute Engine virtual machines. Uh, and you'll see uh, it here on the screen. Here. Uh, they they uh, show the human genome in a circular form. And the application allows researchers to visually explore the associations between genes, mutations, and other factors. And each of these associations is shown with a blue line like that. Now, this may look simple, but this kind of analysis requires a tremendous amount of computation. So ISB built an in-house cluster with 1,000 nodes uh, to handle this kind of computation. Yet it still took them 10 minutes to compute just a single association using the entire cluster. So fortunately, it took only a few days to port this application to Compute Engine. And let's see how Compute Engine performs on this application. Now remember, on their in-house 1,000-core cluster, what you would see here is one line appear, you know, click, and then you'd wait for 10 minutes to see the next line. So let's see what Compute Engine can do with this. All right, so this is what happens when you add 10,000 uh, cores to your application. Instead of it taking 10 minutes, you get a new association every few seconds. That's the kind of scalability and performance that Google can deliver. And so today, anyone, so if you're ISB, you would say, actually, my app kind of taps out at 600,000 cores. It doesn't scale any further. So let's leave 170,000 idle and allocate 600,000 to the genome app, and let's see how fast it runs. Switch to the app. Right, there's a little initial delay. And then we really get going. So this is the same computation now running on 600,000 cores. That is cool. Right. And, that, and that is how infrastructure as a service is supposed to work. So this, ladies and gentlemen, truly is the best time ever to deliver and to build for the web.